fan of delicious fried chicken? I know I am. Today we're making crispy, crunchy, boneless, zinger fried chicken. This is a great recipe for a super crispy, crunchy, boneless fried chicken that has a great texture on the outside while it's really tender on the inside. Great for serving on its own with fries and a Coke for movie night or you can even make your own zinger style burgers with this. So let's get started. So first of all we have to marinate our chicken. For this you need three cups of thick buttermilk. So one cup is 240 mils and you need three cups. And to this we're going to add one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of mild chili powder, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of black pepper powder, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, and one eighth teaspoon that's just a big pinch of ground cinnamon. You also want one and a quarter teaspoons of salt and two teaspoons of hot sauce. I'm using Tabasco. Mix this all really well. And this is what we're going to use to marinate our chicken. So here we have one kilogram of boneless chicken leg pieces. This is skinless. So we get uh, boneless chicken thigh or leg pieces uh, in pieces like this. I've removed the skin, I've rinsed the chicken, I patted it dry and now we're going to remove all the extra fat layers. You can see the yellow uh, fat layers on both sides, all this extra bit. I'm going to cut all of this off and if you look on the bottom side you'll see an extra bit of chunky dark meat. It, it comes in a roundish shape like this. I'm going to cut that off because it usually doesn't taste good when you fry that part. So I cut that off, I trimmed off all the fat and then I cut in, into medium sized squarish um, shaped pieces like this. About the same size, some are a little bit bigger than the others but um, you can see what I mean. So we're going to add all the trimmed neat squarish shaped pieces into the batter now. Add the chicken pieces and turn to coat well. Then cover and refrigerate for at least 4 hours. Marinate up to 24 hours if possible as this will give you super tender fried chicken that bursts with flavor. Remove the chicken from the fridge at least 30 minutes before frying. And before frying, into a separate wide and shallow bowl, measure out and sift the flour. We're using four cups of self-raising flour. And don't skip the sifting. It helps to ensure the zinger style crunchy coating. Season the flour by adding two teaspoons of mild chili powder once again, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of black pepper powder, and two tablespoons of dried mixed herbs. I'm using tarragon, parsley and thyme. And here we're using more tarragon and then parsley and less thyme. That's less than half a tablespoon of the thyme or it tends to be overpowering. We're also adding salt to taste, about one and a half teaspoons. Use a whisk to blend all these ingredients into the flour really well. When it's time to fry your chicken, remove the marinated chicken pieces from the batter and place them on a large wire rack over a tray. Remove all but one and a quarter cups of the batter from the bowl and then add one large egg to this reserved one and a quarter cups of batter remaining in this bowl and mix this well. We'll set that aside. Now we're going to take all these marinated chicken pieces one by one from the wire rack and dip them into the prepared flour mixture till well coated. Then dip all these flour coated chicken pieces into the buttermilk mixture again followed by a second coating of the seasoned flour. So we're going to coat all our chicken pieces in this manner. So I'm actually dipping all my marinated chicken into the flour first and then I'm coating them again in the batter and again in the flour. So you're basically double coating your chicken to be fried. Thank you. 
allow the chicken to sit and dry out a bit while you heat up the oil. This helps the coating to stay intact better during the frying process. This 5 minute or so waiting period helps to get a crunchier texture. So heat oil in a deep and wide wok or skillet. Carefully add the chicken pieces one by one into the hot oil and don't overcrowd the pan or the temperature will plummet. Fry the chicken pieces undisturbed for about 2 minutes making sure that the oil continues to bubble around the chicken pieces at a constant moderate heat. The oil should always be bubbly. It should stay at about 170 degrees centigrade. After 2 minutes the crust should be strong enough to move gently. Flip the pieces over then fry another 2-3 to three minutes keep an eye on that until deep golden and crisp on both sides. You can flip the pieces over once or twice more. This turning will produce a golden crisp crust with even color without becoming too dark. You can check one piece to know if it's done. Then lift the chicken pieces out and transfer to a tray lined with kitchen paper to drain. Don't put the hot fried chicken directly into a large bowl or container. The air can't circulate and the steam will cause the crust to fall off or soften. Give the oil about half a minute to come back to heat and then fry the next batch. The Zinger fried chicken is super crunchy and crisp on the outside while being absolutely tender and moist on the inside. It's fabulous fried chicken is ready. Serve this hot, crispy, crunchy, zinger, boneless fried chicken with fries and coke or you can use this to make yourself zinger style chicken burgers. I do hope you enjoyed this video recipe for crispy, crunchy, boneless, zinger fried chicken. I hope you try the recipe at home and do let me know the results. Leave a comment down below. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.